Hi there! In this video we're going to show you how to get started with Scala and IntelliJ IDEA. First of all, you have to download IntelliJ IDEA from its official website, jetbrains.com IDEA. Notice that IntelliJ IDEA comes in two editions, Ultimate, the commercial one, and Community Edition, which is free and open source. Support for Scala is fully available in the Community Edition. Once the file is downloaded, go ahead and open it. If you're using Mac OS X, simply drag the application to the Applications folder. If you're a Windows user, the built-in installer will guide you through the process. If you're a Linux user, just unzip the package to any folder. When we run IntelliJ IDEA for the first time, it offers us to import settings. Here we don't have any previous installments, so we simply skip this step. Now before we create a Scala project or open one, we have to download the Scala plugin. Click the Configure menu, and then click Plugins. Here we see the list of plugins already installed. To install additional JetBrains plugins, click this button under the list. If you sort the list of plugins by the number of downloads, the Scala plugin is sure to be at the top. Select the Scala plugin and click to install it. After the plugin is downloaded, you'll be offered to restart the IDE. Make sure you do. Now let's see how to create a simple Scala application and run it using IntelliJ IDEA. Choose the Create New Project menu and select Scala project type. Since we're going to use SBT as the build tool, choose the SBT option. Notice that when you create a Scala project, you have to choose a project SDK. If you have no Java SDK configured, click the New button and choose the home directory of your Java SDK. Every time the project is being loaded, you have a chance to pick up a few tips and tricks on how to use the IDE. When you run the IDE for the first time, it shows you how to open the tool windows hidden by default. You can access tool windows using the button in the bottom left side corner. The IDE has created an empty Scala project with Java and Scala source roots. Let's create a class and define a method there returning a hello string. Since we want to be sure our code is correct, we'll write an appropriate test before implementing that method. To do that, we need to add a Scala test library to the project. Let's do it with the SBT file. When we change SBT build files, the IDE offers us to synchronize these changes with the project. Once we confirm to refresh the project, it takes a bit to download and configure the added libraries. As you can see, the Scala test library has been added to the project. Now we're back to the class. Let's use the navigate to test action. As we don't have any tests yet, the IDE offers us to create one. Let's name the test say hello method works correctly. Now create a new instance of the hello class. Make sure the method returns hello Scala. Now use the context menu to run the test. As expected, the test fails. Time to implement the method. Run the test again and make sure it's green. Now I'll show you how to use Scala worksheets. You can create one in a Scala source root via the context menu. Let's create a hello instance and call its method. We 
When the code is ready, click the Run button on the toolbar. The results appear almost immediately. That's all for creating a new project. Now let's see how to import an existing project. Let's go to the assignment page and download a sample project. Then go to File, Import Project. And choose a build.sbt file to import from. Confirm to open in the current window. Sometimes it may take a while to download the libraries listed in the build file. Once it's done, we can explore the project files. Or run the tests. Last but not least is the terminal tool window. It helps you access the command line without leaving the IDE. It is useful for running SBT tasks, among other things.